Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's original documentary, Genia's A Kanye Trilogy. The first episode has dropped on Netflix and we're going to be talking about that kind of non-spoiler-ish, but you know, when it comes to documentary, it's a bit top and turvy as to what is spoiler. But for now, let's jump in. Follows the life of Kanye West in an intimate portrait as he builds his way from singer to businessman and becomes a global brand. So this first episode is really like a nostalgic ride. If you love this type of music and you also love a bit of hip-hop history, then I think you're going to really enjoy seeing the early footage from Kanye and his family and his friends and the people that he just mixed with. Because as a producer, he was mixing with the top people at the time but he wanted to break into the industry himself and release an album himself so really this chronicalizes that journey and then that part of the documentary is interesting it is an hour and a half long and the first thing i have to say about it it's three episodes long weekly releases and then we kind of ha have to form our own opinions about it because recently even a few weeks ago kanye went into the editing room with this documentary to make sure that he was okay with what was being shared on screen and that was just before it was going to um, a film festival so he wanted to have last control over it which made me a bit sad to hear because it loses its authenticity then what you want from a documentary is a real stark look at the person the relationships what makes them human rather than the star and this is what I, I like about certain documentaries when we've seen behind the scenes who they are as a person uh, you know you want real conversations between them their family them not putting their persona on but just who they are just just down to the take the the Kanye personality off and see who you are underneath that was that is what I was hoping to see in this unfortunately you don't get a lot of that there's a lot of introductions in this hour and a half a lot of this is who I am showcasing where they came from and that in itself is interesting because looking at way back when and looking at you know from like Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre mixing with those people seeing how they talked in front of the limelight that wasn't really quite the limelight because this is um Cootie filming who he was so Cootie had been this guy that he met way back when and then chronicalizes his journey kind of gives up being a comedian and follows this life story so we have footage from many many years back which is interesting because they knew they were going to be making a documentary back then but only kind of released it now so the footage we have is very interesting and it's cut together uh, i would say to make it a journey a ride but there needs to be some climactic moments, some gut punches, some real drama in there. And there is right at the end, which makes going to make you want to watch the next episode. And uh, I think hopefully like the middle piece of this, this trilogy will be interesting. But for me, I think it could have been shaved down to 45 minutes um, a piece. And I'm sure that every single person that loves Kanye's music um, will find lots of... I, wasn't, I wouldn't say entertain, but just really interested into finding the kind of nitty gritty of how you put together a label, what makes a self-made person, as, uh, you know, become the Kanye that he is today. And I thought that part was interesting because this, this first episode really is just like the origin story. It's act one, it's three acts. So I think by the time we get to the end, we'll see the, the, the Kanye that he is. But for now, this really is chronicalizing him, meeting all those people, having all the doors shut in front of his face, but striving and persevering and carrying on. And I think that part of the documentary is interesting, but I do think it's too long the tooth. They could have shaved a lot of those introductions that you have throughout this person is that person, this person is that person that gets old very quickly when this does work is when he's sitting down with his mother having the conversation with her hearing his mother rap I think um, there are some really nice moments when he's just being Kanye I think that is the beautiful moments but other than that I think it was too much and that's just my opinion maybe you will love every single second and i hope you do um, i'm going to give this three and a half nicholas cages out of five for now it's an interesting documentary i would have saved some time off but you know i'll reserve my judgment for the complete look as each episode drops thanks so much for watching this do give me your opinions down below but most of all until next time remember live long tuesday <laughs>